I was really sore from that like day yesterday. Let me redo that again. Fuck. So technically today is my rest day. Yesterday was legs. I'm super sore, and like the other day was like upper body. So I'm not really gonna be do able to do anything. But I have like no life outside of lifting weights. I have nothing better to do right now. So we're gonna be. It's gonna be an active rest day. Today we're gonna be working our neck and abs and I think grip because like that's was not sore so you might think it's weird to work your neck what's the point of neck exercises what might was bro training for why you need a strong neck it's actually super important it's more important than you'd think to have a strong neck <laughs> um so when people look at you they judge you and they judge like your quality, your basically your masculinity, your what's it called? What's that word I'm thinking of? Your dominance, or whatever. It's they judge it off the size of your neck. Like you see these people like Mike Tyson, they respect him because he has a thick ass neck. When you look at the guy, and then you see some skinny neck people, and you have no respect for them. So you're judged off the size of your neck, basically. And for, yeah, so neck is important. It's important to work your neck. Also, it's important for me to work my neck, especially because we're in wrestling. And if you, all the pro wrestlers, they have a super strong neck. If your neck can be stronger than somebody's forearm, you're like impossible to pin. All the wrestlers have super strong necks. So, you need to work on your neck. And I'm going to show you two exercises to work it with weights. So, I'll show you it real quick. Here, I changed the towel. And then the next one you do basically the opposite of the first one. 